ओम शांति ओम शांति ओम शांति देखो डायमंड हॉल में बैठे हो Here we are sitting in Diamond Hall. Wonderful Baba, wonderful drama. Baba and drama. Wonderful, wonderful Baba's children. And Baba's children. Abhi sabhi pyaar se sabhi mil kar ke bolo Om Shanti. Say Om Shanti. Okay. Okay. Is everyone okay? Sabhi aaram se baat sunne ka. ठीक है. Comfortably, so, and can you care. hear the translation? All right. Translation got okay. Is your translation coming through fine? Okay, na acha. Sabi ke dil me. In each one's heart. Baba ke bigger or kuch yad nahi hai. Is there anything that Bhavna is remembered? Hai, kal Baba aa raha hai. Baba, we have the feeling that tomorrow Baba is coming. Baba se milan ki. And to meet Baba. Jo macho ko bhot kuch chandar se. We have this deep feeling inside of the attainment that we get from meeting Baba, and it is this pull that has brought us to Madhuban. When the season begins, first of all, double foreigners receive the opportunity. This is a great good fortune. Double foreigners. जब बाबा उनको देखता है या करता है। When Baba sees double foreigners and remembers double foreigners, तो हमको भी ऐसी इच्छा चोटी है। We also have this feeling of the pull of Baba। जैसे बाबा दे रहे हैं, ले रहे हैं। As Baba is giving, so we are taking। अभी आज। Now today। कुछ बातें। There are certain things। अनबो के आधार से ऐसे कोई इधर तो नहीं थे सो प्लीज वी आर गोइंग टू टू कैमरा वाले भी करीब करीब हर चल में नहीं करो अम्म फॉर गोइंग इनटू द डेप्स डोंट गेट डिस्ट्रैक्टेड बाय एनीवन और एनीथिंग ऐसे फीलिंग रहे देर शुड बी दैट टोटल फीलिंग अव्यक्त स्थिति में रहने के टू स्टे इन द अव्यक्त स्टेज जब मेरा साकार बाबा अव्यक्त हुआ, when my साकार बाबा became अव्यक्त, and I know Bridgman by had spoken about this and everyone heard this, and what I will be sharing will be about the experiences of entertainments from sweet Brahma Baba, and when Baba became अव्यक्त, we didn't miss anything. Through that change, Baba ne ka Baba hai apke saath. Baba had said Baba is with you. Sakar avyakt hua to. The sakar became avyakt, but still Baba is with us. Baba. Baba. Jab dil se na ke Baba, ab ab. Main to samajhte hain jo mujhe anubhav hota hai. I believe that. Whatever I have experienced, you will also be experiencing. And when I say Om Shanti, then what is your experience? And then when we say Baba, what does it feel? But it's safety, yeah. There is a feeling of safety and security from Baba. There is a feeling that it's not just for this birth, but it is for twenty-one births. Baba se jo shakti abhi mil rahi hai. The power that we receive from Baba at this time. O shakti. That power. Maya jit vikarma jit banana hai. Makes us the conquerors of Maya and the conquerors of negative karma. Baba ki shakti. It is the power of Baba that creates this. Maya Jit. We become conquerors over 
Maya. Body gets the man. Kisko bhi. And if I have any one of you, uh, Gayatri Wadi, who want to come and sit beside me to clarify any points, you're welcome. And today, whatever things I have in mind to share with you, we became Babas. On the first day we understood what Baba is and on the second day we understood what Maya is. Previously we didn't know. Just as we didn't know what God is, we also didn't know what Maya is. Now, once we've become Babas, we know what Maya is. We know what God is. And we know what Maya is. Maya. Maya. Paramatma ke nazdik aane nahi dengi. It doesn't allow you to come close to the Supreme Being. You have attained Baba, you enjoy the experience of the um, meeting with Baba, but Maya will interfere with that because of jealousy. We had been the slaves of Maya for so long, and anyone who becomes the beloved child of God, then Maya gets jealous of them, of God. And the whole story of the Ramayana is all about jealousy. Subtle Maya takes the form of jealousy. Someone has any jealousy of, against somebody, though they have attained Baba, once you have attained Baba, you've attained everything. What have you attained? Where is Nizar Bhai? Nizar Bhai Daddy's looking for Nizar Bhai. What have we attained from Baba? I always feel, and you must also have this feeling. The first thing we attained from Baba is purity, and we like that very much. And with purity came peace. Peace didn't come just like that. Once purity came, then peace could come. Each one must see within themselves, do I have purity within me? Is there peace within? Love. And then love. Happiness. Then happiness. Power. And then power. Connection. These are connected with each other. But the first one is purity. You're not nodding your heads. Do you not agree what is Girish by feeling purity, peace. then peace? Then where does love come from? Because God, along with peace, he also gives love. Or does he give love first through which peace comes? Sometimes he gives love through which peace comes and sometimes the other way around. But the first thing is purity. And so we all became pure souls. Sakar Baba once said to we children, children, Okay, you think I'm I'm a soul, I'm separate from this body, I'm separate from these bodily connections, but not just I'm a soul, I'm a pure soul. You must practice being a pure soul. I am a pure soul. You must practice while I'm speaking this. Go deep inside yourself and practice. I am a pure soul. How? Because I belong to Baba. That makes me a pure soul. And because the soul is imperishable, the body is perishable. The soul leaves the body and then it takes another one. 
But within that truth disappeared. The soul is living, but by taking rebirth it lost its truth. But by becoming Babas, then the soul regained its truth. Truthfulness and purity, realness and purity. When there is truth, realness and purity, then automatically it is difficult for you to, to live without being humble because the other obstacle is ego, which prevents you from coming into purity. Even if there is subtle ego, if you have humility, you say, okay, the words and the behavior if they are filled with truth and humility, then it makes you very sweet. Put your hands up if you feel that through truth and humility, your words start to be very sweet. And when you look at each other, you start feeling love for each other. When there is humility and truth, there is also love. And then from love with each other, I'm asking you, am I moving ahead by the love of Baba? Or am I moving ahead because of the love of all of you? All of you have a lot of love and affection. Is there anybody who doesn't have love for Daddy? Everyone has love for Daddy. Why? Because within myself there is that feeling that just as I received love from Baba, that power of love enables me Baba to operate on the basis of love and humility and truth. And this is what has given me the fortune to sit together with all of you. Our beloved Daddy Gulzar, who knows very well that I made them put the hands up. Uh, many had come for the first time. So now who is here for the first time in this group? Put your hands up. Those who are here for the first time, uh, who are the first time to meet Baba. There are many, but still, those who have come for the first time, you came with understanding and with recognition to Madhuban. You have come to Madhuban with understanding and recognition. You are sitting in Shantivan. Madhuban is not just Pandav Bhavan, it's also Shantivan. Baba has taught us to live so much in the unlimited, in Paramdham, to dwell in Paramdham. He has reminded us, children, your home is Paramdham. This is not your home, this world. You are here playing to play a part on this world stage, and you have been playing a part throughout the entire cycle. Uh, Golden Age, Silver Age, Copper Age, Iron Age. Baba gives the knowledge of the soul, and the next day Baba says, explain the knowledge of the cycle to the children. Golden Age, Silver Age, Copper Age, Iron Age. Now it is the time of the Confluence Age. The Iron Age is going, the Golden Age is coming. Where am I? I am no longer in the Iron Age. I am sitting in the Confluence Age. First, I'm a soul. I'm the child of the Supreme Soul. I am sitting at the confluence age. I have that knowledge. This is the time to go to Paramdham. And this is why I have to have purity, peace, and love in terms of the powers of purity, peace, and love. 
and become a conqueror over Maya, a conqueror over negative karma, so that no negative karma can take place through me. I am drawing this much power from Baba. Each one should see within themselves is the Supreme Being filled within to me His presence to such an extent that uh, I, any negative karma that I may have done in this birth, I realize it when the soul had the recognition of the Supreme Soul, I realize what is the negative karma I have done and now what karma should I be doing? What should I be doing now? And so in my entire life, there has not been any moment or any day where I'm not thinking, okay, now what do I have to do? Tomorrow what will I do? It will be good. But what should I do right now? This is a very useful and beneficial thing. It makes you free from concern and worry. When you have faith in the intellect, it is something that makes you very firm and unshakable. Who believes this way? Who thinks like that? Put your hand up if you also think that this makes you very firm and stable in your thoughts and in your faith. I, whatever karma I have done, it is in Baba's remembrance. Baba says, I will finish it or I will um, forgive it, whatever it was that was not good. And as was in the Murli yesterday, uh, take forgiveness from Baba and also don't try to prove other people's mistake because that, that activity is a sin to put your own mistakes in front of Baba or even to take forgiveness from others for making mistakes. Forgive or forget. Forgive, take forgiveness and then forget. I have seen and I have heard that Dada Vaswani had also done a big project about forgiveness and did a big program. And we had a very good um, discussion with Krishna Kumari. There's a lot of benefit in forgiving. You have to forgive yourself and forgive others. A sensible one doesn't keep talking about the mistakes and makes everybody firm. This is a mistake. This should not be done. Oh, why are you doing something like that? Stop talking like that. This is God's home. He is the bestower of happiness and peace and the remover of sorrow, so don't talk about other people's mistakes. Today, there are three, um, the three monkey picture was brought. Uh, they think we're giving a big gift to daddy. Talk no evil, hear no evil, see no evil. But then, when it's a question of talking, first of all, we have to not hear any evil, so keep our hands over our two ears. So put our hands over our eyes, showing see no evil, and then put your hand over your mouth, talk no evil. And the finger is pointing towards the one father. And through that we remember to go beyond sound, to go, we have to go to the world of silence, don't we? And for that one is yoga, the other is pilgrimage. Yoga is connection and relationship, and we are going on the pilgrimage, leaving, we are going away. I was doing a seven o'clock meditation with Daddy Gulzar one time and the feeling was such that we were both sitting in the subtle region today in the uh, Amrit Vela. I felt I was also sitting in the subtle region and all had gone to the subtle regions. Why? Because we know 
the netri hai trikadasi hai we have received the third eye we know the three aspects of time and we know the three worlds with the third eye we can know ourselves and the father being the three aspects of seeing the three aspects of time we know the cycle and knowing the three worlds we can go back to the home this is the material world that is the subtle region and that is the original region the world of light uh, we have to experience these three we are the masters we can go wherever we want we are simply instrumentally here when I first went to England, there was one good thing that I saw. Below, there was the kitchen and the um, uh, kitchen and the sitting room, and then up above is the bedroom. And though it's a small house, uh, down below is for service, and up above is for being in silence. This is an um, opportunity for making the rehearsal to go back, and then our stage becomes natural. One who rehearses themselves, when others see them, they get the inspiration to do that. They are pulled to remember Baba. I have a lot of love for Daddy Gulzar, and she is also with me. Uh, we are living next door to each other, and so there's very powerful vibrations that come to me from her side because there is the aim and this word will emerge from her mouth and we were together in Ahmedabad for a few days we will be together and we will leave together I said Daddy has made this so firm we will be together for the whole kalpa and then when Baba comes we will come to him quickly and so this is a very good sign now, if anyone comes to anyone comes to be with me when we're together there is a feeling of great closeness that is to say in spirituality in godly love and in the experience you must have this experience of spirituality, a spiritual godly love. It is the spirit who experiences God's love. And through God's love, the spirit becomes complete. And once we are complete, we become part of his rosary. And then he comes with us, but he comes to us when within the self we are filled with spiritual godly love. Now we have to become complete. It's not that we will become, no, we have to become now. Whatever we have to do, do it now. Who has seen tomorrow? This is also a great mantra. Whatever you have to do, do it now and do it today. If you want to raise yourself up, make yourself free from thinking about other people and looking at other people, today leave this. This is a big illness to think about others and look at others. So much time is gone in looking and thinking to others. Uh, because then you are not only not a jnani, but we would not blame any non-jnani for that. But it's uh, jnani is very blameworthy if they are thinking about others and looking at others. And people do not think of themselves as blameworthy. Baba used to speak about this. Um, Baba said, everyone has their karmic accounts. It's not necessary to think about anyone else. We know that I do not have to think about anyone else. I do not have to look at anyone else. So we have to remember this one thing. 
Sometimes doctors ask, or sometimes the gathering asks, they say, how can we be always healthy? So I said, there is medicine, a little bit, and uh, a lot of blessings, and then the main thing is the power of yoga. This makes you healthy, wealthy, and happy. So today, what is the medicine? So the medicine is to have good feelings. Think about this. This good feelings is the medicine for the body and the mind because mental and physical illnesses are there and they get removed by these good feelings. Keep your body and mind well by good pure feelings and then having pure feelings about others from that you receive a lot of blessings is this clear to everyone put your hand up if this is clear from having good feelings you get the medicine from having good feelings about others you get blessings so now this is for today and tomorrow especially have good feelings within yourself and good feelings for others even if all the rest of knowledge is merged but have these two things good feelings and good feelings for others if you are a knowledgeable soul you have good feelings for others a yogi is one who wants to be like the father and they become an image like the father and for that you have to have good feelings about others with such power of yoga, Baba has established all of this. Daddy is remembering Laura. Is you put your hand up. Morocco, Laura. Yes, wave and stand up and make yourself visible. Some people have very good feelings. Very subtly, as much as you can make your um, yoga um, yoga. With the power of yoga, Baba, Baba likes this very much. With pure feelings about others, you get the power. With good power of yoga and good feelings for yourself, you get the power to have good feelings about others. I have uh, extra happiness because I have seen that whether it is Sakar Baba or Avyat Baba, I have received so much sustenance and the practical proof of that Baba has shown in all of you. And the real proof is to have good feelings for the self and good feelings for others. To be number one in this, we should not be number wise in our effort for this, but number one. Anyone who is number one in one second in their thinking. Nothing of waste under the influence of body consciousness. This should not be allowed. It is extremely harmful. To be in the soul conscious stage and in Baba's remembrance and to know really what Baba's remembrance is in a state of soul consciousness and through that remembrance how you are in connection with Baba and how that connection connects. And once you are connected, then the light goes on and you get power. And then all the relations, the mother, the father, the teacher, the friend, the Satguru, these five relationships are filled with each separate attainments. Some say Baba is my father. Some say Baba is my mother, my father, my teacher, and I love his teachings very much. 
As much as you remember the study, you remember the teacher of the study. Very great regard for him. He has a lot of love for the child who pays attention to the study. He will pay attention to such a child. Whatever are the teachings of Baba, a Raj Yogi means first you are a Karma Yogi. That means you do very good karma in Baba's remembrance. You live in a very simple way, in a very civilized, clean, and um, a truthful way. There should be truth within, and you are clean wherever you are, in your uh, kitchen, in your room. When I was first in, in Pune, it was an extremely small center. And I had a, a kitchen, I kept it in such a way. There was just one room. A little tiny kitchen, and the kitchen should be absolutely clean. The room should be absolutely clean. It doesn't take time to keep everything clean. Some people, they make food, and they just leave the vessels here and there. But me, at the moment, I use one, I wash it, so that you don't need separate time to wash the dishes and pots. But it should all the time be clean. You can see here in Madhuban, there's so much cleanliness. Baba has taught us in such a way. And so thousands of people, and yet there is cleanliness in the kitchen. If you go for a bath, there is, um, everything is cleaned, and after every meal, everything is cleaned. They serve in such a way. If I say to anyone, each one should see is everyone filled with clean, cleanliness, uh, purity, and uh, you just have four uh, clean dresses, that's enough. You don't need lots and lots of clothes and suitcases. People say, I need lots of cupboards and place to keep all my stuff. Baba says he has given you everything, but Baba has actually made everything simple for us. When I first used to go on tour, I didn't even have a toilet bag. I just ha had a comb, that's all. Didn't even have soap. But we used to um, wash with a special kind of um, a mud, and we used to wash our hair with certain kind of mud also. And we had a little bucket and we would, a little bag, and we had two dresses and we started doing service like that. And all the places were very small and we would sit there and have yoga and when anyone would come for at least one hour, we would sit in Baba's remembrance. Cleanliness, being civilized, pulls and draws truthfulness. Is that right? This, um, if there's not cleanliness, then some souls come, came to Baba and I was amazed, what is Baba here, what is, what is Baba doing? Hai. So all these people are sitting here. Baba, Baba would hao. say, okay, uh, bring me to Baba the room, Baba. show me the room. In Baba's room there was no scriptures, no chair even, there was a little table, and there was his bed and the um, the bolster that you can see in Baba's room in Pandapavan. People were amazed that Baba would live so simply and so cleanly. So Baba wishes each and every one of his children to make their lives like that, and then they would get so much love and blessings from Baba. Love from Baba and then blessings from everyone. 
You don't say anything, but just seeing such a one, they see their family and their home has been transformed. There was Dada Gopal, which was Brijman Bhai's uh, father, his whole family and home changed. His story is very wonderful. Whatever you bring into your life, it becomes the instrument to make everybody's life good. So the main thing, the latest thing that I am feeling is that good feelings is a medicine, good feelings for others is the that brings you blessings and then if you have yoga, then you become filled with power, you are the children of the um, Master Almighty, the Master Almighty Authority, you have the eight powers, they are helping you in service, we say, stay peaceful and quiet, stay happy. Do not think. Okay. Is everything okay? Mira Ben has come to signal me that time is up. Today is a very great day. We are making preparations for tomorrow. So for the whole day, everyone is getting ready to accept the invitation Baba has given to spend the whole day in the subtle regions tomorrow. And I see when Baba is going to come, Daddy Gilzara spends the whole day in silence. So we all also, in order to invoke Baba, we'll stay in the whole day in silence. <coughs> and Baba will give us such a wonderful experience of the Avyat stage. So forever leave the uh, ordinary physical state, become detached and loving, and adopt the angelic form so that everyone would experience that. Thank you.